Hello everyone. This is my third video of the three part series made on routine maintenance and condition monitoring of lightning arrester. If you have not watched the previous two videos, then please check the link given in the description of this video. And most important thing, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if not done already. Now let's continue. Leakage current of arrester has two components. Resistive component which is in phase with the supply voltage and capacitive component which is in lead with respect to the supply voltage. It is also to be noted that MCOV has a negative temperature coefficient. The resistive component of leakage current is responsible for heating of lightning arrester or metal oxide varistor. Hence, measurement and monitoring of the same is critical for condition monitoring of lightning arrester. The capacitive component of leakage current is not actively responsible for anything. The capacitive current is mainly because of the permittivity of non-linear metal oxide resistor as well as because of stray capacitance and grading capacitance of lightning arrestor at site. There is no evidence that the capacitive component of leakage current would significantly change due to the change in VI characteristics of the non-linear metal oxide resistors. IEC 600099-5 describes several methods for condition monitoring through leakage current or power loss. Those methods are evaluated on different parameters and based on user requirements, a suitable method can be decided. Here you can find method of leakage current measurement using DC source. Yes, of course, DC source can be efficient in providing resistive leakage current measurement, although the service experience is limited. Out of these, Current measurement using leakage current meter and third harmonic leakage current measurement have very extensive site experience. While the first one gives idea about the total leakage current, the THRC methods give data about resistive leakage current. For lab scale testing, the preferred option is method A1, which is measurement of current at voltage peak and method C, which is watt loss measurement using integration of current and voltage over one cycle. Of course, these are the two of my preferred choice for condition monitoring. With this, I conclude my series of three videos. Thank you very much for watching.